investigation of a doubly reinforced rectangular concrete beam using NSCP 2015 part 2. Hello everyone, this is Engineer De La Cruz and this is De La Cruz Engineering Video Tutorial. Okay, so this is the part 2 of our series on investigation of a doubly reinforced concrete beam. Okay, so before you watch this, please watch the part 1 of the series para mas maintindihan nyo talaga. Okay, so these are the topics included. So for part 1, yung um, case natin is the tension steel yield and the compression steel yields. While here in part 2, baliktad na. Yung tension steel doesn't yield na, while the compression steel yields. Okay, without any further ado, let's start. So, pinakita ko na lang yung diretso yung force diagrams na, no? So, in part 1, um, diniscuss ko ito bakit naging ganito yung mga force diagrams natin. Okay? So, what is the first step? That is to locate the neutral axis or to solve the value of C. Okay? So, that is by equating the tension is equals to the compression of the concrete plus the compression of the steel bars. Okay? So, before that, we will solve the areas of the reinforcing bars. So, this is for AS, for tension bars. That is, uh, we have 8. So, from, um, pinalakihan natin yung ano, AS natin from part 1. So, naging 8 dito. So, this is 3927 mm squared while the area for compression bars is dalawang bakal. 982 mm squared. Okay? Now, the same assumption, assuming tension still yields, where Fs is greater or equal to Fy, while compression still doesn't yield, where Fs is equal to this formula, no? and that should be lesser than to Fy, to our yielding strength. Okay, so by using this, let's substitute. The tension is ASF, ASFS, where Fs, we assume that it will yield. So we use 415. No? Then compression of the concrete is 0.85 Fc prime beta 1C, that is the A. No? That is our A here. Then the B, 300, plus the AS prime, which is ito, 982. And we assume na hindi mag yield. So 600C minus 70 over C. 70 is our D prime. This is our D prime. Okay? And we can solve our C here that is 263.06 millimeters now we can solve our A this 0.85 of FC prime the beta 1 C okay now after that we will prove our assumptions okay let's prove this using this formula of for tension still no? and substitute our D here is 400 C is 263.06 and that is 312.33 megapascal so as you can see that is lesser to fy which is 415 megapascal no? so our assumption here is hindi nagmit or that is wrong our assumption here is wrong pala okay now i-check din natin yung fs prime that is 600 c minus d prime over c and substitute or d prime is 70 so here the FS prime is 440.34 megapascal and as you can see that is greater to our FY that is 415 megapascal therefore this assumption is also wrong okay so what's the conclusion here so meaning hindi pala mag yield yung compression bar while the tension bar will be will be yielding no compression bar will be yielding the tension bar will not yield so, therefore, our solution from the start is wrong. Mali na dito. Dapat i-revise natin yung assumption through this. Okay? So, what's the step? So, we will assume the tension doesn't yield na. Because kanina nga, na-check natin. While the compression still yields. So, this is yield, ha? Na mali yata. I-correct ko lang using this kana. Um, highlighter I erase ko lang ito compression still yield na ayun para hindi kayo ma-confuse okay. okay assuming tension doesn't yield so use the actual stress formula 
and use a uh, assuming the compression steel yields na siya because nga kanina na check natin so fs prime is greater to or equals to fy which is 415 so using this equation that is as fs so our fs here is ito na this formula okay the compression of the concrete 0.85 fc prime the same times beta 1c times b that is as prime 982 times this 415 our fy because you assume that the compression is yielding na okay so as you can see our c is 243.43 millimeters okay then check our a that is beta 1c 206.92 millimeters then after that we will prove again our assumption okay proving our assumption using this formula and here our fs or the actual stress of the tension steel is 385.91 as you can see that is truly lesser than fy which is 415 mega pascal therefore this assumption is correct na. that is okay okay now checking this fs prime using that formula and substitute Allah. this should be for 243.91 43 millimeters no yung c natin dito i-check ko lang ha i-check natin sa calculator if baka na na mistype ko lang yan um, okay checking for the gun that is 600 um, times um, that should be 243 243.43 minus d prime uh, divided by 243.43 and equals okay, 600 lang dapat pressing equals that is 427.47 so actually na typo error ko lang ito okay that should be 243.43 dito Please notice this correction lang ha. But our answer here is this uh, correct man. Using this value of C. Okay. So let's proceed. So that is truly greater than FY. Which is FY is 415. Therefore, from our assumption that is correct. Okay. So if our all our assumptions are correct, we can proceed to our solution na. That is MN is C times this distance, the moment arm, plus the compression of the um bars times the moment arm d minus d prime okay so let's start substitute 0.85 of fc prime times bet times a we have a naman dito 206.2 times b okay times the moment arm d minus a over 2 times our compression bar that is 982 times we will use our fyd here as fs prime because nag yield nga siya nag pass siya sa yielding strength Okay, times the moment arm and our um, nominal moment capacity is 463.03 kilonewtons meter. Okay, so after that we will solve our reduction factor to calculate the design moment. And since Fs is this 385.91, take note our basis here is for tension. Huh? 385.91 that is lesser to Fy and check the code. No? Our FS is somewhere be, uh, below the FY. No? So, andito. If we will locate the reduction factor above, that is constant to 0.65. Therefore, we will use that as our reduction factor fee. Okay? And we can calculate the moment, design moment na. Okay? The fee MN. Fee MN is 0.65 to this nominal moment capacity. And that is our answer. Okay, this is for part 2. Please, if you haven't watched the part 1, do watch the part 1 here in the link. Okay, thank you everyone and God bless. And again, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe. And you can click the bell icon para ma notify kayo if I will upload another video tutorial. Thank you everyone and God bless.